Yo, what's good? Last video, we were checking charts. Now we're going to be looking at an excellent post made by the legendary Shy V. Borski. Woo! Did I say that right? Shy V. Borski, the legend himself, the creator, well, co-author co of Ghost Dag, dropping some awesome alpha, breaking it down for us. Hey, IP, keep, you know, whatever, 15 for dummies, because I'm a dummy and so are you. Not for real, though. Anyone that's not these... uh giga brain uh researchers are pretty much dummies and uh, so i'm going to be breaking this down for you all right so what's this all about how's this uh decentralized layer twos on caspa um, post crescendo this is after the crescendo hard fork after 10 bps but before zero knowledge proof okay this is the, a certain era where we really uh you can't take for granted because this may be a, a period of time um about a year it may be a year maybe six months it may be two years you know we just don't know it's the time where um because zero knowledge zero knowledge proofs are where it's going to be the epitome it's going to be the the an incredible point for caspa in terms of decentralization uh, that's what zero knowledge proofs uh allow it's just extreme amounts of decentralization uh, for based rollups it's just like really pretty much the end game for um layer twos not just on caspa but for like everywhere to implement uh these type of zero zero knowledge based rollups uh so i'm gonna break down break this down for you this whole article it's it's talking about basically the drawback the um the current limitations and what kip night kip 15 uh can improve uh so it's it, it will require another uh fork but this is something that seems very uh, you know, very well thought out and something that can actually bring a lot of uh, use case. So here's here's the post. Here's the, the image. And basically, it talks about pruning. OK, so the current limitation is with Caspa has has all of this data. And with with smart contracts, layer two is going to have even much more data. So these archival nodes, which capture all of these blocks, all this transaction history is going to start adding up very, very fast. Um, so we need a solution for this. And here's a solution, KIP15, made by, uh, you know, Mike Zach, these, these guys, um, Didymund, and the people from IGRA, IGRA Labs, they proposed this, where it basically it takes, it, it, pr it takes the pruned blocks, these pruned blocks, and it, it basically captures the, uh, the hashes. It doesn't keep the entire transaction data for all these transactions, but it keeps the hashes. Those, those hash IDs, um, it's like the fingerprint for a transaction. That's all it really needs to be able to prove the history, to look back at the history. So smart contracts are going to are going to need uh, to to observe, you know, the transaction histories. So this is a way to um, fix that. So it uses ATAN storage. Yeah, ATAN stands for Accepted Transaction Archival Nodes. So again, it's going to be focusing um, not on the archi archival nodes, but it's going to be taking the pruned. It stands for the pruned full node and an archival node. It does not store transaction data. It stores enough data to validate publication of any transaction. So that's a very, you know, it's very it gets very nitty gritty, but it's a huge upgrade in terms of the efficiency and long term, um, you know, just scalability and decentralization. While we uh, uh, are in this period of time until ZK, until ZK rollups, uh, zero knowledge proof. So, yeah, it's that's pretty much what the whole article goes into. Um, transactions versus transaction hashes. You know, transactions has the whole data. Transaction hashes is just like, you know, just the fingerprint. Think of it. So, syncing them not going to be a problem. So this is incredible because the nodes that are keeping Caspa heavily decentralized, they're going to be able to keep running and keep running efficiently. They're not going to be having uh, so much uh, data storage problems. This this with KIP15, it's like something like uh, it adds five terabytes, so up to five terabytes a year. Um, where does it say that? Five tera, fair dice, yeah, per year. It's very, um, very reasonable. Uh, so, because these, these nodes are very important for decentralization, and that's something that even Shy mentioned with KRC20. He wasn't, you know, so crazy about them going up right off the bat uh, with the KRC20 protocol. Why? Because at the start, like, the, you know, the indexer, with the, in the indexer, if it's not public, if it's not, if it, anyone, if everyone can't run an indexer, then it's, it's centralized on Casplex. 
Castplex, you know, they have on their roadmap a, a light indexer, a light indexer that everyone can run. So that's pretty much this light type of indexer is what this Kip 15 is trying to keep for this um, for this era of uh, smart contracts. It needs to be light. It needs to be uh, capable so able so anyone could run, uh, you know, a Casper node and not be, uh, you know, traumatized by the amount of data that that their um, drive is taking up. So now it's going to be much more um, fair long term. You know, keep decentralization at the forefront, keep it uh, accessible for everyone. And, you know, that's something that Castplex, uh had been, you know, trying to work on keeping a, they, they did release their indexer to the public. So it's not just centralized on them, but that was something that uh, Shai really wanted Castplex to you know, work on and something they still are going to keep uh, working on. And especially for their layer twos, uh, the Castplex layer two, I mean, Based rollups of leveraging Casper Layer One, so uh, really, really interesting things coming from Egra, coming from Casplex, coming from uh, a variety of different things. So it's not just Casplex. Like, there's going to be that Sparkle uh, Layer Two, well, it's Layer One Point Five, which is much, much more closely like um, using the Caspa blockchain. It's going to be running much more closer, uh, closer to that. While these other Layer Twos are. For example, you know, Igra will have its uh, will have its own nodes uh, running, and uh, here with Casplex, uh, they have this uh, Casplex layer two, so RPC nodes. So there there will be other nodes that'll be running on for these layer twos. Um, so that that can be another uh, video for later. But just wanted to go into this, you know, what Kip fifteen is all about, and uh, try to shine uh, some more light on it because really incredible and uh yeah this is a big huge article if you really want to read it you know go for it uh but just trying to break it down for you